All right, what's up guys? Today we're going to be reviewing the best Wi-Fi adapters for hacking with Kali Linux or other penetration testing platforms. So these are Wi-Fi adapters that allow promiscuous mode and packet injection, as well as monitor mode and stuff like that. So the top three we have right here are the Panda POW5. This is a small form factor Wi-Fi adapter that does 2.4 gigahertz and has a surprisingly long range for its size. Um, it also has very high uh, power efficiency. So even if a router is far away, it's still going to pick it up. And we will see that in our tests later on. The Panda POW5 right now is selling for $14.99 on Amazon. And it has 3000 ratings, four and a half stars, and it's Amazon's choice for a Linux USB Wi-Fi adapter. Uh, now, next up we have is our Alpha Networks AW, uh, AWUS036NHA. So this is, my cat just fell off the fridge. So this is the Alpha Networks AWUS036NHA, and this is a medium four factor, form factor. Uh, with a 2.4 gigahertz range and it has a small little antenna that it comes with. The Alpha Networks AWUS036NHA, uh, 2.4 gigahertz with the 5 decibel antenna, which is the little one that it comes with, is selling for $37.69 on Amazon right now. Uh, this is on sale from $39.99 and 4.5 and stars. And this is sold directly from Alpha Networks. Now, next up, we have the Alpha Networks uh, AC1200 USB adapter. This is the only one that is 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz. Um, this one does have two antennas, um, one for each band. And it is, it has some support for Kai Linux. Um, you have to install the drivers beforehand. And even once you install the drivers, it is still a bit finicky but it does have five gigahertz, which is the only one that it has. And it's one of the only ones that are sold that has five gigahertz and support for monitor mode, promiscuous and packet injection. The Alpha Networks AC1200 is selling for $59.99 right now on amazon.com and has 981 ratings and four and a half stars. Uh, this is one of the more expensive ones, but it is also the only one that has five gigahertz. After that, we also have an nine decibel antenna. So this is a very long antenna. It's sold by Alpha Networks, uh, alpha.com.tw for Taiwan. Um, this can be connected to any normal antenna. So it can be connected to the AWU blah, 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 blah. Or it can also be connected to the other Alpha Networks, the AC1200 but you will not have support for five gigahertz since this antenna only does 2.4. Um, it does increase your range and we will see that again in our testing later on. So without further ado, let's get into the tests. For my testing, I tested each Wi-Fi adapter for two minutes. I let it scan the surrounding area and jotted down how many Wi-Fi networks it found, the power level those Wi-Fi networks were at, so the quality of the connection, and how many members or uh, gadgets, devices were on those networks that it also picked up. And then I also put that against the price of the item. So I'm just going to walk you guys through um, running one of my tests and we're going to start with the Panda POW 5. So I'm just going to plug in my Wi-Fi adapter. I'm going to transfer it to my virtual machine, click OK, and then we're going to log in. Once we're in, we're going to run Wi-Fi. So we're going to run sudo Wi-Fi. And then I'm going to start my timer. So we're going to do two minutes from the start of the timer.
and at two minutes we're going to hit stop and we can see that it has six devices and we have the power levels and then seven clients so i'm going to write that down all right now that we have the panda done now we're going to do the alpha networks awu we're going to connect it to our virtual machine and then we're going to run Wi-Fi again. Maximize this so it looks better. And we're going to start our timer and see how many Wi-Fi's it picks up. You can already see it picked up a new Wi-Fi. That's Piper. All right, it's been running for two minutes. Hit Control C, and we're gonna jot down our results. Now we're going to do the nine decibel antenna on the AWU. Gonna run Wi-Fi again, and hit Start on our timer. It ran for two minutes. Let's jot down our results. So now we're gonna do the AC 1200 and this requires a new cable. So this one is also USB 3.0, so maybe that will help. Okay, so this is a problem. So it did not show up. We need to install the drivers. We need sudo. I'll have the command in the video description. So if it doesn't work for you, make sure to apt-get update and then rerun the command and it should be good. So now that our drivers are installed, we're going to rerun Wi-Fi. Make sure that you have USB 3.0 enabled on your virtual machine or if you're running on a um, actual system, then you're good. You can just plug it in and it should work. So after messing with the AC1200, I actually could not get it to work. I installed the correct drivers for it, enabled USB 3.0 in VMware settings, and no such luck. Um, even when I tried this adapter a long time ago, I had issues, but I could still get it to work. So hopefully one of you out there can get the AC1200 to work because it is a very capable 2.4 GHz as well as 5 GHz Wi-Fi adapter. In Windows, it shows up just fine, so if you're just using it for Wi-Fi adapter, good job, it'll work for you. If you're using it for penetration testing, maybe don't get it. But after all, here are the results. All right, so looking at our data, we see that the Panda has the best average strength, the AWU has the best amount of networks, the 9 decibel antenna has the most connected devices, and the AC1200 has the highest price. Um, in my personal opinion, I would go with the AWU. Um, it is probably the best all around. If you want something low profile and stealthy, go for the Panda. Uh, it's the Panda PAU05. I'll have all of these linked in the video description. I'll have their Amazon um, links. And then the 9 decibel antenna is a good purchase if you need a little bit extra range. range. It does help. Uh, it didn't really help in my testing, but I have had it uh, grab much more network devices if it's been left on for longer. So this is only two minutes of connectivity. Also, the AC1200, I've also had that work in the past. I could not get it to work this time. It is fiddly, um, and it does require an update and drivers to be installed, and you need USB 3.0. Um, so I, I would not recommend the AC1200 unless you need a 5 gigahertz option. Um, there are others out there. These are the ones that I have access to, and these are probably the best you can get. Um, for Kali Linux Wi-Fi penetration testing. If you guys like this type of video, hit like, get subscribed. Tell me what you think down in the comments. I wanna hear what you guys think. If you guys have any other video ideas or anything similar to this, also make yourselves heard in the comments. I'll see you guys all next time.